Welcome to Green Numbers Data Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use regular expressions to make your code more flexible. In coding, we often need to search for specific strings, and there are functions that help us to do this, such as the find function. But what if you're not looking for a specific string value, but a string pattern? For example, rather than a specific phone number, you're looking for any phone number. For this kind of search, we need a more powerful tool. This is where regular expressions really shine. With regular expressions, we can search for a pattern, perform fuzzy matching, find and replace a value matching a pattern, and extract a value matching a pattern and save it to a variable. This is a second Green Numbers video on regular expressions. This one focuses on finding a pattern and replacing the value. In a previous video, I demonstrated matching a pattern. In another video, I'll focus on finding a pattern and extracting the value to save to a variable. For this video, we're going to match against this data set, names, with a column named names that includes a sample of name values in various formats, cases, and punctuation. The regular expression function I'm going to show you is prxChange, which is a find and replace function. You might ask yourself why we need this when we have other SAS functions, such as TranWord, that can do this. And the answer is that prxChange is more versatile. With TranWord, you can only replace one string at a time, and it will only replace exact values, not patterns. In our code, we'll create a new variable named namesMod that will hold our transformed values. And the syntax is prxChange followed by open and close parens. Inside the parens, we need three things. First, it's the pattern. Let's just call it pattern for now as a placeholder. We'll come back to this. Our pattern is followed by a comma, then a number telling SAS how many replacements we'd like to have. If we put one, it tells SAS to replace the first instance of our pattern. Two tells SAS to replace the second instance of our pattern. Negative 1 tells SAS to replace all values matched in a string. Let's go with negative 1 so we replace all matching values. Let's follow that up with a comma. Next, we need to tell SAS the variable we're matching against. In this case, we're using the names variable. Let's also use the strip function on the names variable so SAS doesn't consider any of the leading or trailing spaces in our values. Now we need to create our pattern and tell SAS what the replacement value is. Our pattern is enclosed in quotes and includes three forward slashes. Everything between the first and second forward slash is the pattern we're matching against. And everything between the second and third forward slash is the replacement. The syntax also requires an S between the first quote and the first forward slash. Let's just do something simple in the first example. We see our data set includes the name Max. Let's change max to min for all maxes. To do that, we put max in our pattern and min in our replacement. Let's also add an i between the last backslash and the last quote to tell SAS to ignore the case. That way, we match max in upper, lower, and mixed case. So let's run this. We see the max wild thing is now min wild thing, and to the max is now to the min, and maxwell bill is now minwell bill, and all other values are unchanged because they did not include the text max. I use PRX change a lot to standardize names for probabilistic linkage. To do this, I usually get rid of all punctuation and sometimes spaces as well. If we look at our names data set, we have name values that contain hyphens, commas, periods, and generational indicators like senior and the second. So let's get rid of all punctuation and remove the senior and the second. So let's add a hyphen, a comma, and a period, but let's put them inside square brackets. That way SAS knows we're looking for any of these things. But because each of these is a special character in the language of regular expressions, we need to tell SAS to evaluate these literally by adding the escape character backslash before each, like this. Now we need to match senior and the second. Because we're looking for an S and an R together, let's group them by putting them inside parens. Because the senior in our example includes a capital S and a lowercase r, 
Let's add an I to tell SAS to ignore case. Let's also add a group to match two consecutive I's with a second. Now, if we ran our code like this, then SAS would look for a hyphen, a comma, or a period, followed by a senior, followed by two I's. So we need to add a pipe between our groups like this. So now it means hyphen or comma or period or SR or the second. Now in this example, our replacement value is empty because we're replacing the values in our pattern with nothing. We could choose to replace with a space or some other standard value, but let's keep it blank. So let's run this code. So you can see that all of our punctuation is now gone, as well as senior and the second. Some of the names in our data set are in the last name, comma, first name format, like these ones down here. Let's change this. For example, let's change Hinkley Ralph to Ralph Hinkley. We can use a regular expression to swap these values by using capture buffers. Now in this example, our pattern is one or more word characters. So this wildcard is a word character. A plus afterward means one or more of these, followed by a comma, followed by a space, followed by one or more word characters again. This matches last name, comma, space, first name. But if we enclose each of these word carrier groups in parens, we can capture these values and reorder them. The first name captured is stored in dollar sign one and the second name captured is stored in dollar sign two. So if we want the first name listed first, we put a dollar sign two in our replacement value, followed by a space, then dollar sign one for our last name. Now let's run this code. Now we see that Hinkley Ralph became Ralph Hinkley and Maxwell Bill became Bill Maxwell. The values that didn't match our pattern stayed the same. There are lots of websites that list the meta characters and show examples of different patterns. One is the SAS regular expression tip sheet, which groups them by behavior category. For example, here we see the shorthand pattern values, and here we see the position matching pattern values. I put this link and a couple of others in the description. And that's it for this video. Hopefully you learned how regular expressions can make you a more efficient and flexible programmer. If you haven't seen it already, I encourage you to watch the first video in the series on matching a pattern. And look for the next video in this series where I show you how to extract a value using a pattern and save it to a variable. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to get more content. Thanks for watching.